Welcome to my hometown, the beautiful Royal Leamington Spa, so-called because Queen Victoria once spent a night here. But Leamington has come a long way since the Victorian times. It's now famous for something much cooler. Video games. Yes, believe it or not, this quaint town is fast becoming a major player on the world stage when it comes to gaming, employing some two and a half thousand specialists in the art of interactive entertainment. Leamington's history with video games goes back to before I was born, to the 1980s and two pairs of brothers. Richard and David Darling started selling games they made in their bedroom when they were still teenagers. They were so successful that they started a company called Codemasters, which is still making games today. Then there were the Olivers, who started their gaming careers working with Codemasters before setting up their own company, Interactive Games. Now, the local industry started by those two pairs of brothers has grown and spread across Leamington and the surrounding area. As well as Codemasters and the Oliver's latest studio, Rebellion Warwick, we've got Playground Games, who created Forza Horizon. We've got Ubisoft Leamington, who worked on The Division 2. We've even got our own Sega studio and dozens more. To find out just how hot Leamington Spa is for gaming right now, I've come along to an event here called Interactive Futures, which is designed to showcase this town's gaming rep and attract even more talent to the area. Virtually all of the locally based gaming companies are present, and I wanted to kick off by looking at some new indie innovations. So this is one of the indie studios here, Flump. They've made this little arcade cabinet. Wow, this is so old school. Horizon Shift 81 is one of several retro arcade games created by Flump. You have to pilot a ship whilst trying to dodge and defeat enemy vessels. You're switching between the top and the bottom. I'm getting a bit overwhelmed, not gonna lie. Bubbles the Cat is made by my friends at Team Cats and Bears, whose boss, Johnny Wallbank, is also a previous employee of Codemasters. You don't have to make it run, you just have to press jump. You progress through the game using a stash of different bubbles, which provide an assortment of power-ups. So cute. Whoa. VR company River is based just outside Leamington and is demoing some brand new software. So Jordan, anywhere that's green, you can teleport to. Whoa. River creates photorealistic experiences by 3D mapping accidents to help train recruits in the emergency services. This scene depicts the aftermath of a fire and provides a cheap and safe way to improve search, rescue and investigation skills. Now I want you to pick up that smoke alarm with your index finger. Oh! Cool. <laughs> yes. Now bring it up to your face and have a look at the detail. This well, I can read things on it. That's amazing. Leicestershire Fire and Rescue Service and some police forces are already using this software as part of their routine training. Now, this is the dangerous, hazardous situation. Oh, so I feel like I shouldn't walk forward. That's it. One step forward. <laughs> OK. And slowly lean out. Oh, wow. Now I will do that. And then we're done. Amazing. That was incredible. Having spent a few hours at Interactive Futures, it's clear that you don't have to head to the big city to make it big in video games. The future is bright for Leamington, and this town has truly earned its title of Silicon Spa.